Hi and welcome to a new video. Today I have one of the most requested videos on this channel. How to recover photos and videos on an iPhone if you accidentally deleted them, your iPhone was damaged or maybe it was stolen. Whether with a backup or without, because you can often recover your photos without any backup. I will show you how this works in this video. Let's go. If you are very lucky and only deleted photos in the Recents folder, then they can still be recovered for 30 days from the Recently Deleted folder. You don't even need a backup for this. Because just like on a computer, there is a bin on the iPhone. After you deleted photos and videos, they will only be moved to the bin and can be recovered for up to 30 days. To do this, open the Albums menu, scroll down to the bottom, and go to Recently Deleted. Now choose all photos that you want to recover and tap on Recover in the lower right corner. If you accidentally deleted the photos in the Recently Deleted folder as well, there are other methods that may work. If you activated the iCloud Photos function, the photos might still be stored in iCloud. If the function is activated and your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi, the photos on the iPhone will synchronize with the iCloud and with a little luck you can still download your photos there. How to check if iCloud Photos is activated? Open Settings. Then tap on your name. And then on iCloud. Now tap on Photos. If the iCloud Photos function is activated here, you can try to go to the website iCloud.com on a computer and log in with your iCloud credentials. You can find the link to the website in the video description below. If you have two-factor authentication turned on, you have to enter a six-digit code from your iPhone as well. You will see an interface similar to the iPhone. Tap on Photos. And if you have found your photos, you can download them onto your computer. Remember that there's also a recently deleted folder in which you can recover the photos. If you haven't enabled the iCloud Photos function, then you may be even luckier at least if you have activated the iCloud backup function. The good thing is that you can get 5GB of free iCloud storage from Apple and the iCloud backup function is preset. This means, unless you haven't turned it off, it is possible that the photos are included in the backup. Note, however, that the photos are only stored in the iCloud backup if the iCloud Photos function is deactivated. What is the reason for this? Well, Apple doesn't want to save your photos twice, once in the iCloud Backup and once in iCloud Photos. That's why Apple doesn't save photos in the backup for everyone who activated iCloud Photos. I hope this was understandable. Alright, now tap on iCloud Backup. On the bottom, you can see when the last successful backup was created. If you have not activated the function, you will accordingly not have a backup and will not see anything here. If you have a backup, it is very important that you do not charge your iPhone if possible and that you do not accidentally click on Backup Now. Otherwise, it might happen that the iPhone overwrites the old backup with the new data. Then check when the last backup was created. This usually happens every 24 hours at night when the iPhone is charging. If you deleted your photos and videos after the last backup, you can restore them. How do you do that? The first option is to factory reset the entire iPhone and then load the backup back on it. Unfortunately, Apple does not provide any way of accessing individual backup parts, such as photos. Either you reset the entire backup or nothing at all. If you want to do that, go to the Settings, tap on General, and here at the bottom you will find the option Transfer or Reset iPhone. Now tap on Erase All Content and Settings, and then on Continue. Once you've done that, you'll need to set up your iPhone once again. You can then reload the old backup and you will have your photos back. The disadvantage is that you have to set up some apps again. Especially the 10 apps of banks often cause problems and of course the entire method itself takes time as well. Until everything is downloaded and so on. However, there is a good alternative which allows you to recover only the photos. This works with a special software. More information on this at the end of the video. 
If you have an iTunes backup and you deleted photos from your iPhone afterwards, you will be able to restore them, at least to the moment the backup was created. To do this, connect your iPhone to the computer where the backup is stored and make sure that your iPhone is really charging, otherwise you won't have a connection to the computer. In case a dialog pops up on your iPhone which says, do you want to trust this computer, tap on confirm. If you can connect to your computer, make sure you're either using an original lightning cable or one that's MFI certified. If you were using a Mac with the Mojave operating system or higher, open the finder. If you have an older Mac or a Windows computer where the backup is stored, open iTunes and click on your device. Here you can see when the last backup was created. Under Manage Backups, you can also check whether you have older backups and if you want, you can restore your backup. But be aware that your entire iPhone will be restored to the point in time when the backup was created and your old files will be overwritten. This also includes apps, contacts, and so on. If you don't want this to happen and you just want to extract photos and videos from the backup, then I recommend the software Tenorshare All Data. You can find the link in the video description below. The program was developed to restore specific data such as photos with the help of a backup without having to reset your entire iPhone. But even without a backup, you can restore your data with a little luck by having the software search for the remains of the deleted pictures. The program is available for Mac and Windows, and you can download it for free. But keep in mind, in order to use all functions of the software, you need the full version, which unfortunately is not free of charge. The good news, before you buy the software, you can at least preview the photos and see what can be restored. Okay, now install the program and open it. Reconnect your iPhone to the computer and if you don't have a backup, try the left option, Recover Data from iOS Device. Deselect everything except photos and click on Scan. The program will now search for leftovers on your iPhone. And depending on how much data is on your iPhone, this can take quite a while. But when this process is done, you can select the photos you want to recover and click Recover. Select the photo where you want to save the pictures and let the photos be restored. For saving them, you need the paid version. If you have an iTunes backup, click on Recover Data from Backup. Select the correct backup and click on Next. You can then selectively only restore the photos and videos to your computer. If you had an iCloud backup and don't want to reset your entire iPhone, click on Recover Data from iCloud and log in with your Apple ID. Here you can only restore the photos as well. If I could help you, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. You're also welcome to leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.